So there's a, a, a Muslim preacher apparently in Turkey uh, that has decided that um, beards are necessary. Now, according to the Quran, they are not necessary. It is not in the text. Um, depending on the different cultures and different regions that practice Islam, uh, some say like in Afghanistan uh, for the Taliban, they say it is necessary. Uh, wide swaths of the Muslim world don't think it's necessary. And like I said, it's not in the Quran. But this guy thinks that there's a very good reason why men should have beards. All right, let's hear him out. Um, he says, um, this is from Newsweek, men without beards, quote, cannot be distinguished from women and can provoke, quote, indecent thoughts. An Islamic preacher in Turkey told the religious television station Fatih Medreseleri. Um, his name is Murat Bayaral, and he went on to explain. He said, men should grow beards. Beards are one of the two body parts that separate men from women is the beard. I would argue there's a couple other separations between men and women, but I like how he's like, well, look, there are two things, okay? One thing and then the other thing. And you, anyway, you see my point. Not exactly. <laughs> I don't quite see it, but it's about to get worse. He says, for example, if you see a man with a long hair from far away, you may think he's a woman if he does not have a beard. Because nowadays, women and men dress similarly, God forbid, uh, you could be possessed by indecent thoughts. Wait, 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 hold on, let me get this right. So if a guy doesn't have a beard, you might accidentally get turned on by him. So you wanna make sure everybody's got a beard. You know, sometimes people say something and they probably think that everybody thinks the same way, but once it's out there, they realize, Oh no, other people didn't think that way. He's like, this guy's like, I mean, you're with me, right? I mean, if a guy doesn't have a beard, he looks good, right? You have, I mean, God forbid, but you have indecent thoughts as a guy, he looks good, right? A beard, oh, not as attractive, not, not interested anymore, okay? Here, you're with me, with me, right? You're with me? Oh, nobody's with me, oh, oh no, <laughs> okay. I think I'm allowed to do a Turkish accent. I think I can get away with that one. Anyway, uh, Magdalena Kircher uh, works at the Istanbul Policy Center. She's a fellow there. Uh, and here's what uh, she wrote about an overall context for this. She said, Erdogan, who's the president now of Turkey, declared in 2012 his intent to raise, quote, devout generations. And former Deputy Prime Minister Bülent Arınç uh, stated in 2014 that women should not laugh out loud in public. I think that they should have uh, had a whole hashtag LOL movement there. Um, but obviously, they're trying to change the culture. And this is part of how they try to change the culture. Because Turkey used to be deeply secular, it was one of the most secular countries in the world. Uh, being secular was written into the Turkish and is still in the Turkish constitution. Uh, but uh, the right wingers in Turkey would uh, don't want that. They want religion to overtake government. That is why I happen to think they're dangerous, uh, on top of being clownish. as this particular preacher is, and, and Newsweek explains, Bayral, the, the preacher in this case, is a marginal figure in Turkey and does not wield much influence, so they give it proper context there. But Kirchner says that statements like Bayral's demonstrate efforts by the government and their societal base to create, quote, a bottom up pressure against a secular way of life without having to impose legal constraints. Uh, look, I believe that culture is monumentally important and, and it can affect uh, the country uh, overall and what people think, and it is done in these ways. So I think it's incumbent upon Turks and um, all over the world, including uh, Americans here in the US as well, uh, to yes, engage in those culture conflicts, if you will. And so if you're a secular, be proud of it, uh, you should be. Uh, that is the right way to do the government. You don't want any one particular religion taking over the government. Uh, or and one interpretation of the same religion to take over the government because everybody has a different interpretation of their religions. And that's how you get to um, authoritarian form of government that I think is uh, the opposite of democracy. Now, I just also like to note one last thing for the record. Here's a picture of President Erdogan. Does not appear to have a beard. I'm not saying anything. Uh, we'll have to ask the preacher what he thinks about that. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. tytnetwork.com slash join.